Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to restrict the coupon code for the guest. Okay, so let me control V. So we are going to learn how to limit coupon code usage for the guest user in Magento 2. By default you can see that for the restriction for the guest is not there. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to limit the coupon code for the guest user. So first of all, let's create a coupon code or I think I have already created the coupon code. Let's go to the admin panel. <coughs> okay, let's check if we have the coupon codes or not. Content, where it is, marketing, 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 card price rules. We have the three coupons, okay? So uh, let's take the example of the last one. It has the 10 uses per coupon per customer is one. Correct. This is the logic. Okay. So if I go to the uh, front end. And is uh, let else add anything. So this product has the quantity. Okay. Okay, so this is the guest checkout, correct? So what we have, what I have do, let's go to the code level. Uh, where is code? So this is the code, guest restriction coupon code. We have the ETC, we have plugin registration. In ETC, we have to override by the plugin. So we have the di.xml and what we are type name is sales rule model utility and here we are just using the this plugin method to check whether this coupon code is uh, restricted for the restricted yard for the guest or not okay and after that we have a plugin restrict coupon code guest this is that one okay so this is the full fledged on uh, full, -fledged, uh, full fledged tutorial the file you can see that so that you can type the code okay so this is around can process rule this around plugin means that we uh, not before nor after in the middle that is around so we are doing the round after uh, after their uh, like we are just matching the data of whether the email what the user has put it put in in the checkout whether it is exist and it is used by one coupon code that means they uh, they have already applied they have already applied for the coupon code if it is not exist that means it is not applied then we will ask him to apply the coupon code and that's it that's the logic that's the phenomena that we're going to use it so here we have the coupon code for the code get the coupon code right here if the customer id is null by default if it is a guest then it is customer id is null and if the we are getting the email for the guest customer right so uh and one of my uh, one of my you can say uh, subscriber or maybe the those who have uh, have seen my video they were asking about the how we can get the guest email address so for the guest email address uh, whenever you do the checkout process there is a billing address where the email address is saved or the rest of the information is saved on that note you will get the email address and you can do the rest of the manipulation according to it right Okay, that's it. And after that, we have a criteria for search query builder where we have added a filter of the customer email and the coupon code. If it is, we get in the, uh, like, if, if we get, we have searching in the database, uh, like if it is get the customer email coupon code already exist in the table or the repository, then we can get the list. If it is not there, then we'll return the false. So here we have mentioned order get, orders get size is greater than equal to rules per user's customer. That means it already not applied. Man, means if you are not getting the size uh, like the array, so it is blank. So that means it is not applied already. So we are taking advantage of it, right? So we'll return the result. Let's take a look how we are going because the the main thing is pending, right? So how what what's the next phenomena? 
somebody uh, doing the rest of the calculations like uh, i am doing the uh, in magento 2.4.3 what happen when you uh, when you up, uh, like create a coupon code and you think that i have applied multiple times but the usage and all this are not working properly in that case i have a solution for you so in any of the uh, like you can say uh, uh, Google, you can do it the Google, you will not get this tutorial full of like how to restrict the coupon code. I have already searched, but I have made for you like how we can restrict the guest coupon code. So please be with me. And if you haven't subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel. It's very important because in the next time I'm going to make the videos only for my subscribers who have subscribed it. So those who haven't subscribed the channel, please subscribe it so that you will get my all videos because i'm now you can see this tutorial is no none of the uh on the google so and if it is there then it's not working i told you it's not working okay so let's take an example so i'm taking an example uh let's take a, a random uh email 56 rajni 56 remember rajni 56 at the rate mailinator.com okay and let's create the first name last name company street address whatever city zip code one two three four five phone number done next it's a new email address which is not registered yet i'm going to apply the coupon code test 80 apply discount place order done after this after this if i go to the dashboard sales order you can see that uh, placing the order as a guest. If I check that, this is the Rajini Nightfair. Let's do the one more. Add this product to the cart. Proceed to checkout. Add the email address. Oh, sorry. Which is the email address? Rajini56. Rajini56 at the rate mailinator.com. Right? Uh, let's do the rest of the things. Okay, city, postal code 12345, whatever it is. Next. So I'm going to apply the discount coupon again. What happened? This coupon code isn't uh, valid. Verify the code and try again. That means this user has already applied the coupon right you can see that i have already logged in i have already used the same email address and you can see that it's already uh, like it, it is say that the coupon code you already applied correct so this is that now we are doing the rest of the thing like uh, if if i logged in as a customer then is it applicable for the same or not let's go to the <coughs> next logged in as a customer uses per customer is one okay so let's drop this and let's go to the log sign in. So I have already a sign in account or create a sign create an account, right? Uh, Rajni one twelve at the rate mailinator dot com. Last name. Oh sorry, this is the email address. I will put anything over here. Email, right? Password. Anything. Create. Done. Check out. Next, payment, add the coupon. Done, place order. Done, continue shopping again. One coupon I have applied. And now I'm unable to apply the coupon. Let's check it out. Next, next. It says your coupon code, coupon code was successfully applied. That means the data is not updated yet. So this is the trick that I'm going to use it right now. Means that the, uh, you can say export list or consumer list is not updated the usage of the coupon code, right? So on the terminal, what we have to do is we have to add one more command. Uh, let me, this one, sales rule update coupon code usage. Run this command. This is run. Okay, let's apply it or cancel it, then apply it. The coupon code is, isn't valid and verify the code. Means 
it magento uh, just uh, just whenever we have a, uh, do any kind of manipulation like updating the coupon or something this needs to be done manually you can do or run the cron job currently i am not running the cron job schedule jobs anything i have not run that's the issue but if you are facing that kind of issue that you are already applying the coupon code and it's again and again applying so in that case you have to do that step that's very very important step okay and the code we have already done that uh, how to restrict the guest user right and i hope you will understand the whole video and process and please 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 do like share and comment those who haven't subscribed just watching the video please subscribe so that we can reach the number of people and it it will boost um, my motivation so that i can upload more and more videos uh, on different different platforms thank you so much for watching this video have a great day please do like share and comment if you like the video if you have any query in that just write in below the comment box right have a great day